Dallas Auditorium hit capacity on Friday when Egyptian-born political scientist Dr. Nubar Habsavian headlined a panel of four Middle Eastern scholars to discuss the crisis in Cairo. Egypt erupted in massive protests seldom seen in its modern history. Millions, reportedly about 8 million people, took to the streets as the government cut internet access and mobile phone service. The tech-savvy protesters quickly found ways around that. I mean, I was literally sending emails from Tahrir Square while the, everybody was crying that the internet was down. We are seeing uh, changes in technology and that makes the revolution easier, the so-called Twitter revolution. This is not a Twitter revolution. Revolution is televised. I was watching Tahrir Square all the time through Al Jazeera. Revolution is televised nowadays and tweeted, etc. cetera. Um, that has changed things. It is speeds it up. What is happening across the Arab world today, literally today, this Friday, of concurrent demonstrations in Libya, Bahrain, Egypt, <coughs> Algeria, Yemen, and so on, what we are seeing feels like a new pan-Arabism to me, different from the one we saw in the 60s. This time, it's not foreign entities and agents that people on the street are protesting. It's the very story they've been told, the story that they are a chaotic and savage people that need the iron fist of a decades-long government for their own good that they don't deserve dignity or freedom because they would squander it, that they are violent and infantile. Arab men and women the world over have stopped believing the story about themselves, and in doing so, have showed the world that the story was never anything more than a fiction. Indeed, the challenges are great, but the great strides have been made by youth, by the old, the young, the people brought a regime down. Now it's their turn to build a democratic order. Thank you.